So, another quick trick for for using Ableton and getting more efficient. Um, let's see. I've started with a with a kick and a little bit of drumming. And now I remember that in the other project I already used a cool bass sound I want to use again right now in here. So now what you could do is like open up the other project and um, copy that track, go back into this pr project and paste it. But that's not the quickest way to do it. Actually there's another interesting way, I don't know if you know it or not, maybe it's an old trick for you but I'm going to show you anyways. You go into your browser, look for that other project file and I'm going to take the project uh, Helden's Future House Style. That's a template we made a while ago. We also have a video tutorial on that one. And um, check the description if you're interested. And I'm going, I know that there's a cool base in here I want to use in this project now. So I open up the ALS file. It takes sometimes a while to open it. And then I'm pretty sure I want this base dry. I call this track base dry. Um, and um, I can now select because it lists all the tracks that are used in that project over here and now I can like drag this track and place it over here so now I got it inside the only thing that's changed is this space is applied a lot later in the other project I can move it here I have the whole instrument, it's a massive sound over here um, and it's filtered a little bit. I have the whole instrument with the notes from the other project already applied in here. Now I can go ahead, select my sidechain over here and just play it out. See, that's saving a lot of time sometimes. Um, and uh, enables you to work quicker. The only thing you have to do before like being able to do this is like uh, put good names on the tracks in your other projects so you're able to find stuff actually quickly um, and, and use it again. That's why you, if you're working on a new track you don't have to do everything again and like oh no now I need to open this project, now I need to open that project. You just have a way quicker workflow because you remember I can take this bass from there, I can take that lead from there, I can take the piano I made in this other track and just go ahead and be productive at producing. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, try it out by yourself, it should work on your machine as well. Um, if you're interested in this, in how to make this Oliver Helden style bass, go to the tutorial. I'm putting a link in the description. If you're looking for powerful massive presets like that one, we have massive presets on our channel and our website. And see you next time.